I'm going to explain how you build and edit a playlist. And I'm talking about a timeline slideshow playlist as opposed to a chapter playlist. So to work on this, let's open up a project by going to Working Files, Encore Projects, and scroll down to 0602 Timeline Playlists. Now I named this project Timeline Playlists. Technically speaking, that's incorrect. We're talking about simply something called Playlists here. But I want to differentiate between Playlists and Chapter Playlists, so I'm going to probably refer to this time and again as a Timeline Playlist. What I've got here is a project with three menus in it. If I open up the uh, Menus folder, there are the three menus. Main menu and two scene selection menus. In the main menu with six buttons, four of them go to Assets. These are the three timelines here, and then the slideshow. The fifth one goes to A Scene Selection menu. If you go to that menu, then you'll see that it's linked to another menu after it, which looks like so. That one's linked to the preceding menu, and also there are main menu buttons on there as well to take folks back to the main menu. So that's the structure of this project main menu with four assets, a link to a scene selection menu, and then this button down here which is linked to nothing at the moment. The goal is to create a playlist and use this button to link to that playlist. And I'll talk about linking in later tutorials, but nevertheless that's the plan here. So we're going to make a playlist with all of the assets in that playlist. These three videos and this slideshow in that playlist. To do that I'm going to close down this folder so we don't add the playlist to this folder. I want to add it to the project panel by itself. There are two ways to add a new playlist. One is to add an empty playlist, and one is to add one that's populated already. So one way to add a new playlist that's empty is to right-click anywhere here and say New Playlist, or you can go File, New Playlist. Those are the two sort of direct ways to make an empty playlist. But I think it's better to actually populate it from the get-go. So I'm going to open up this little folder there and select, let's say, two of these three, because I want to show you how you can add things to an existing playlist. So I'm going to take Scenic, and then Command or Control click on Wildlife. And I'm going to go right click, New Playlist, right there. Notice this chapter playlist below that. We're going to deal with that in the next tutorial. So I'll click Playlist. That's going to add a playlist, by the way, right here inside this folder, but we'll deal with that in a second. We'll call this one Play All, and it's going to add that Play All playlist here inside that folder, because that's the folder that was open. And there is the icon for a playlist. There's a little arrow with like a list of items in it. I don't really want it in the Timelines folder, so I'll just drag it out of the folder. There we go, I can close this now. So now it sits there by itself. It's called Play All. And if I were to click on some other asset like the menu, you won't see the Play All properties. But if you click on Play All, you'll see that there are its properties over here in the Properties panel. And there are the two assets that we added to it. So let's add something else to it. There's only one way to do that. I'll show you the wrong way first and then the right way. So we'll start by attempting to add the other timeline, the missing timeline, Time Lapse. I can just drag that over, right? Yeah, yeah, there's that same little problem again where you think you can drag it over, but you can't. So I click on Play All again. There is this lovely little pick whip. We talked about the pick whip before. We talked about adding audio to a slideshow. Same thing applies here. We're going to use this little pick whip many, many times. I'll just drag the pick whip over to Time Lapse right there. And it comes back in. And there's Time Lapse sitting right there. I also want to add slideshow to it. So let's just open up the slideshow and use the same process. Just take the pick whip. And drag it over there to the scenic slideshow. So now we have these four things inside there. We can arrange them in a different order. Let's say we want scenic to be first. You select it. You can move it up the line like that. Let's say I want time lapse to be last. I can click it and move it down like that. And you know, ultimately, hmm, maybe I don't want a slideshow in this thing. I just want the video. So I can take the slideshow and click the garbage can here and get rid of that guy. So we have those three things inside the play all playlist. You can also put things in twice if you want to, so you can have them play once after the other. Whatever you like to do, however you want to arrange it. This little flat thing here is called the Specify Link. This is something we'll deal with later when you can link a subtitle track or an audio track to one of these timelines to have that play when you click on this playlist. But we'll worry about that when we talk about linking. So there we've got those guys put into a playlist, which means that now, if we want to, we can now link this playlist to this button like that. And now we can preview that by right-clicking here and going Preview from here. And if I click on this button, it'll take us to the first timeline in the playlist. And after that timeline's done, it'll go to the next timeline, etc., until it's done playing all three of those timelines. There you have it. So that is how you build and edit a playlist in Encore, and then ultimately how you link to that playlist as well.